What's up guys, welcome back to Banalish Diecast. My name is Evan and today we're going to take a look at the Redline Club 1962 Ford F100. So we're going to start with opening this thing up, take it out of its protector. Uh, this thing was really, really late actually. I, I, it took way longer than it should have to get here. But I'm really happy it showed up. So here's a look at the uh, card art. You got a picture of that Ford on there. Which is really cool. You got uh, Hot Wheels, hottest metal cars in the world. As you usually do with the Redline Club logo. Which is really nice. I really like that card art on the uh, Redline Club cars. It's always so nice. Take a look at the back. You got a little window so you can see the other side of the car. And I already read all this. But if you want to read this, go ahead and do that. And there's the number, in case you guys are curious. So let's move on to the truck itself. It's in an amazing, truly amazing paint job. Spectra Flame Orange, white two-tone, orange roof. You got white interior in there with little orange details in the seats and uh, orange steering wheel. You got F100 Ford on the side of the hood there, which actually opens up, which is really nice. Uh, take a look at the engine here. Obviously, the whole theme of the truck is white and orange, but I really like that bit of contrast with the blue engine against the uh, white and orange of the truck. Got the front end of the truck here. Headlights, grill, bumper, license plate, all nice and detailed. Tail end of the truck. Got those uh, red taillights with the silver around them. You got Ford written on the tailgate there. 62 Uni on the license plate, and Uni is short for unibody. In case you didn't know, these old Fords, they had a unibody, and usually unibody refers to the uh, body of the truck being connected with the uh, frame, but in this case, it's the cab being connected to the box. So there is no space between the box of the truck and the cab. Um, that, does, that, that design only lasted a few years, and my guess would be because... I guess if the truck gets rear-ended, and you bend up the box, I guess the cab's gonna bend up with it, so I'm gonna guess that's why the design only lasted a little while. Base looks like it's made of plastic, but it is actually made of metal, it's just coated with chrome. Also the white walls, the deep dish chrome rims with the white walls, back wheels just slightly bigger than the front ones, that, it, that just looks so good. Like this truck is definitely one of the best pieces in my collection right now this thing is just so pretty i i absolutely love this truck let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this truck so be sure to like subscribe and all the other stuff i'm not going to take an eternity telling you guys to do and i'll see you